Dunk, 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 Hi, welcome to a new prequel video. Today we're going to talk about Doctor Who, the five doctors, the 25th anniversary. Um, well, Sarah Jane was walking down the road in that place they were brought. And then she falls down in the grass down and the doctor played by John Pertwee saw it and stopped the car you know Bessie and uh, throw a rope down to her and she climbs up and then Sarah Jane and the doctor was together again yeah and uh, first she asked what are you doing here oh I could you I could I can ask you the same. Oh, then we're both in trouble or something. So they sit go and sit in the car and they drive away. And in the castle, you know, um, Susan and um, you know. Um, the first, first doctor, her grandpa, have to walk over a chessboard on the floor. And, uh, well, the doctor who plays the first doctor is Richard Handel. Then they have to walk over a chessboard on the floor. But if they um, walk wrong on the chessboard they will die so they have to find the correct way and uh, also when they sought the right way and walk over then the Daleks come and you know they trick the Daleks to come over and they explode and died and also one other thing I forgot to mention is, um, well, you know, the, the second doctor, uh, Patrick Routon. Um, well, in, in the end of War Machine, no, War Games, yeah, sorry, War Games, at the end of War Games, you see that um, his companions, yeah, they have to leave. Because the Time Lord say so. You have to live. And we have to erase your memory of the Doctor. So you don't going to remember what you've been through and the life of the Doctor and anything. No. You have to erase your memories. But in this castle, the second Doctor saw them. Yeah. He saw his companions. But he knew that this is a trick. You ha you're tricking me. So you're not real. But those, those, those says, we are real. We are here. Oh, and other things. But the doctor, he says, you're not real. You're not real. You're not here. And, you know. And then they disappear. And, um, well... Further on, uh, you see the four four doctors meets in the hall, and then this um, casket uh, in the room with uh, little heads on the sides. So the doctors went to this table of some sort and tried to figure it out what's going on and what's the trouble and all that and then uh, further than that the bad guy comes who are collecting them and brought them there 
And, uh, well, you know, he wants the power and he wants to, uh, you know, wrestle on, you know, something. They're, ha they're, um, why they're brought there is because they are related to wrestle on somehow. Not the doctors, but the reasons, the reason that the bad guy is because that he gonna use them to help him get the power, wrestle on power. And that, uh, well, you know, all the bad guys, well, it ends bad. So the next head, little head on the side of the casket was the bad guy. Yeah. So Rassalon trick people to think that they're going to get the power. Yeah. So the next head on this casket is the bad guy that brought the doctors there. And afterwards... They are saying goodbye to each other and uh, walk into the TARDIS, their own TARDISes. And uh, the companions walk in there as well. And one by one disappeared. And uh, finally, you see the fifth doctor and his companions, Tegan and... Um, well, I, I don't know the the boy with the or, orange hair, the red orange hair. I don't know what he called, but, well, they are left. So, uh, everyone else has gone back to their own time. And the fifth doctor and his companion goes into the TARDIS and set course for the next mission. So, that's it. But, they saved the universe. They got the bad guy. And, uh, you know, the Cybermen, the Masters, and the Daleks. Well, they're no, not there anymore. So, they are going back to their own dimension or planet or, you know. So, um... What do I think about this uh, episode, the, fifth, the Five Doctors? Well, it's a nice episode to watch. And it has a little humor. And it has adventures. It has action, a li little bit of action in it. It's had uh, companions. It has the doctors, uh, bad guys, villains. Aliens. It's just a Doctor Who story that you are used to. And uh, well, uh, well, if I'm gonna give say ten out of ten, yeah. And you know why? Because Elizabeth Sladen. That's why. You know why? Because Elizabeth Sladen was the first companion. I was introduced to. Yeah. That's why. Well, um, Tom Baker is uh, in it a little bit. That was my first doctor. Um, well, uh, Peter Davison. What can we talk about him? Well, there's, uh, well, there's some episodes that I maybe just maybe don't like with Peter Davison. Maybe. But I have to watch those episodes again to find out which episode they are. Maybe or maybe not. Um, so, uh, Five Doctors, uh, 25 anniversary. And uh, now uh, it's going to be soon 40 anniversary since uh, this episode come out for almost 40 years ago mm -hmm. so um, 
and also uh well elizabeth sladen starred in um in a show one episode there were one only one episode um with her and k9 you know k9 company um a dog's best friend well that episode i saw i saw it maybe a couple of times so well some some of you don't like this episode for some reason because you have reasons to don't like that episode but i me i like that episode i like it and uh well it's uh it's the that she comes home from uh, her trip or something and then there was this huge package on the floor and inside it was k9 that the doctor has given her to help her with um, maybe aliens bad guys or you know on planet earth yeah you didn't know that that it was the doctor who gave sarah jane k9 yeah so that was my prequel video uh keep your knowledge collection and connection with other doctor who fans all over the world and uh, i see you in the next video and i have only one word to tell you man see you on the wild side and also see you later alligator bye